In the last video, we created an AirVPN account and connected our PC to AirVPN by using a SSL tunnel. This gave us free access to the internet from Iranian soil. This video shows you how to use your AirVPN account from an Android device. In normal circumstances, a connection with the SSL tunnel is not necessary, but from Iran or China, the censorship can detect VPN connections. For the preparation, we need three apps. The OpenVPN for Android app, the Simple HTTP Server app, and the S-Tunnel app. The best way is always to install them from the Play Store. This makes sure that you always get the latest updates. At the time I made this video, the S-Tunnel app is filtered in the Play Store if you are in Iran. For this purpose, I created a link to all three apps in an encrypted 7-zip archive. The link is shown in the video and also in the video description. Download the zip file and unpack it with your file explorer in Android. In my case, I am using the ES Explorer which downloads the 7-zip add-on to uncompress the file. The password is Unblock Persia, as you can see in the video. Extract the files you need into the download folder. I was able to install OpenVPN and Simple HTTP Server via the Play Store, but the S-Tunnel app must be installed by using the APK file which is provided in the zip archive. Before the file can be installed, you have to go to your settings and the section security you have to allow apps from unknown sources. In the next attempt, you are now able to install the S-Tunnel app. The next preparation step is to download all necessary configuration files from AirVPN. Visit the website airvpn.info and make sure that you are logged in with your account. Choose Client Area and navigate to Config Generator. As operating system, choose Linux and not Android. For the next step, I choose a server and not a region or country. You can choose whatever server you like. In this case, I select the server Zubin and scroll down to the end of the page. I now choose Advanced mode and tick the option Resolved hosts in OVPN files. Then I scroll down and choose SSL on port 443. I tick the two checkboxes above the Generate button and press Now on the button. All three files must be downloaded. We are now ready to configure the S-Tunnel and OpenVPN. Open the simple HTTP server app and switch it on. Click on the provided link. Your browser will open up and your folders on your device are shown. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded the AirVPN files. Copy the link to the stunnel.crt file in your clipboard. Now open the tunnel app, cancel the first dialog and navigate to the certificate storage in the app. You can now import the AirVPN certificate by just pasting the link which you copied in your clipboard. You can now choose a name for this certificate. Save it and go back in the tunnel main menu. You can now create a new tunnel. Choose a connection name. The host name and port must be obtained from the SSL file which we downloaded from AirVPN. 
use your explorer to navigate to the download folder and open the file as a text file. You can copy the IP address and the port to the clipboard and paste it to the tunnel app. Make sure that you do not have any space in this line. The local port is also in the SSL file. It's 1413. Make sure that all three boxes under the configuration are activated. Click on Save. You can now start the tunnel by clicking on it and choose Start Tunnel at the bottom. Now you can configure OpenVPN. Open the OpenVPN app and configure a new VPN connection by selecting the Plus button and click on Import. Navigate to the Download folder and choose the OVPN file. The file will now be imported. Click on Save. If you are on an Android 7 or newer device, you must make sure that the tunnel app is connecting outside the VPN. To do this, edit your VPN connection and navigate to Allowed Apps. You get a list with all installed apps. Scroll down to the tunnel app and tick it. You can now go back and click on the newly created VPN connection and connect. You are now able to use websites like YouTube and Facebook. As soon as I disconnect from the VPN and the S tunnel, the connection to YouTube times out. All you have to do now to establish a connection is to start the S tunnel and then start the OpenVPN connection. Please always start the S tunnel first. The simple HTTP server app has no use anymore and can be uninstalled. We only use this app to import the certificate into the tunnel app.